Welcome everyone to listen to the Vibes Daily Devotions. We take a little bit of time each and every day to help you to get one step closer to that goal of success, whether it be in business or just life in general. Thank you for joining and here we go. All right, today, let's talk about your character because I don't care what kind of success you find in this life. Um, I don't care how high on top of the totem pole you may be. You could be the, the biggest celebrity in the world. Without character, it really doesn't mean anything. And what I mean by that, how you treat people, um, you know, you're your characteristics in in general you know of being being that nice person um, knowing when to stand your ground um, helping other people you know all these things are very important they make up a good character you know doing the right thing it this may seem real trivial to some people but yeah I remember going to Walmart Went, I got my shopping done, got back into my car. And, you know, after I'd put everything in the car, I'd realized, you know what? I walked out of there with a, a case of waters. Now, what is it like four bucks, five bucks, whatever it is for a case of waters. And I could have just said, heck with it. You know, Walmart's this big conglomerate. They, they don't need the money. I could have just went home and you know, not even, you know, not even have to think about it, but that's not the kind of person I am. I stopped, I put it back in the cart. I walked up to the door and I explained to the person at the door, this is what happened. They kind of looked at me like, really? I'm like, yeah, I'm just, that's, that's me. You know, I remember taking my, my son to the store with me one day and he was, he was little. But uh, we had picked up a, a cart, and there's an envelope in it. It's just sitting there, and it had, uh, or it looked like a receipt from somebody had paid bills, and there was just a couple of dollars in it. I mean, what, two bucks, maybe some change. I could have put it in my pocket and just went home, eh, no big deal. Once again, that's not who I am. I wanted to show my son this is the way you're supposed to be you know you treat people like you want to be treated and I went to this person's house and I went up I knocked on the door and I told him I said look you don't know me um, we were at the store I looked in the cart you had an envelope left here it had some change in it you know I just wanted to leave it here for you <clears throat> They're very appreciative. You know, it, it, a couple of bucks, it's not gonna hurt anybody either way, but that's that's not the point. You you need to be a better person, no matter how maybe it seems trivial. To some folks it may be, but to me it's not. You know, it, it, even that smallest bit of karma can come back and bite you in the butt if you don't do the right thing even when you think it may be insignificant and you, you want to be a an example to you know whether it should be your children or or the you know, other people in your family or friends or you know just if somebody can look at you and say this person does the right thing that that goes a long way i don't care how successful you are in this life you know, I, I've talked to people that they've walk, worked on the set of a movie and not even realized that, uh, you know, uh, one of the stars of the movie, a big name star, was, uh, you know, had heard a conversation that they were having or something and, and came over to give some advice or some help or something, you know, even buying them lunch or just sharing a donut together or whatever shows that some of these people actually have character 
and they care about others and not just themselves. Uh, I, to me, it just, it means, it means a lot. You know, I, I never know. I might forget, you know, uh, an envelope in a grocery cart one day and it'd be, maybe it could be 20 bucks, whatever. But somebody goes out of their way to say, hey, you know what, I want to do the right thing. That, that, that means more to me than the money itself. And you, you just never know. You want that good karma in your life. You know, I refer back to our children. When they see how you treat others, that is how they're going to treat others and more than likely how they're going to treat you. <clears throat> we we have to show the next generation that you know there are decent people out there that care about others and pass that down to them so we can keep that going otherwise you're going to have this generation of people that just care about themselves they don't care you know if they hurt you they run all over you they just won't care now and i mean do you really want to to leave that kind of legacy yeah i feel that treating other people with kindness with compassion that that will come back to you you know, and I'll be, tell you this, I'll be the first one to admit when I'm out driving, somebody does something just really stupid. My f first reaction is I get upset. And after I'm already, you know, I'm cussing to nobody basically because <laughs> nobody else is in the vehicle with me, but I stop and I think, you know what? I tell other people to treat folks with kindness and understanding. I need to do the same thing. You know, we don't know what's going on in that other vehicle. It could be an emergency. I mean, any number of things. But being slow to anger, you know, it, it takes practice. It takes discipline. But in the long run, you're a better person. So many things we could be doing to be a better human being. But we, we get caught up in ourselves and our own problems and the things that are going on around us that we don't look outside of ourselves. We don't look at other people. We don't put ourselves in the other person's shoes. We need to be an example to the other people in our lives. Some of them are going to look up to you. Some of them are going to look to you for, you know, answers for guidance. I mean, are you okay if your mother or your grandmother sees you act that way towards people? Would they be proud of you? It's little questions we need to ask ourselves before we get all upset. Let's be decent to each other. Let's have something good for people to say about you. You know, and, and that you'll be surprised if you are a business person and you treat your customers with the utmost respect and attention and all these things, you can advertise on television, on the radio, all you want, but that word of mouth it's going to be more impactful. So, you know, there, there's been places I've gone to where they just act like, you know, you owe them. You, know, you go into a restaurant or to a store and they think, oh, you know what? Uh, you're, you're here for me. I'm not here for you. And I don't go back to those places. I want to be treated like a human being, I wanted to be treated with respect and the kindness, helping other people out. 
you never know who you're helping out there and how much it, it will affect them. Given money or food or your time, all these things that are so beneficial to others. It's the generation we need to have back to caring about other people and not so much about ourselves all the time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe because it's only through your support that we're able to continue doing the things that we do. And until the next one, have a great, great day.